everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is Stephanie of Geeky Planning back at it again for another video and in today's video we will be planning out the week of August 23rd through the 29th using this gorgeous stunning beautiful kit from Station Stickers. Highly doubt, highly doubt that this is still available in the Station Sticker shop just because I did purchase this in 2017. That is how old this kit is but again right now we're in the time of our lives where we're just gonna use stuff instead of hoarding it. So that is what we are doing today and also I thought like because this is the first week back in my fall semester I might as well use a more full kit, a more fun kit hopefully. I don't know we'll see how this actually goes but anyways let me go ahead and just flip through it so these are the full boxes and then this did come with like a 15 millimeter i think this was like personal planner sized washi tape but i used this previously for who even knows what because it's been literally too many years um these are your checklists glitter headers and half boxes all that fun stuff some sidebar stuff like old headers to do today little things type headers so we might actually use these but we know we'll see um, and then the date covers and this did come with date dots but I would rather use the rose colored days ones because then they would be sequential on the like roll that I have. So I pulled those guys in and then there's like little things, washi tape, not washi tape, um, like the washi stickers and washi to use and then this also came with this like icons page which I legitimately don't see myself using any of these so I'm just gonna throw that like off to the side for a little bit and as per usual I will be pulling in a tape from creativity and ink this is just like a regular five millimeter tape let's go ahead and flip through the last week's spread this is what last week's spread turned out honestly looks really cute and I am here for all of it and I don't think I showed this in my last week's spread I meant to but I didn't um so like the difference between Rapunzel theme spreads like this is what last week turns out this is what like my mother's week one turned out like so very different even though they're the same theme kind of a thing which I think is really cool you can use the same theme multiple times in a planner and it'll look different each time so yeah that's what last week turned out and then I am filming this in the middle of June <laughs> so this is the day that I'm filming this on so this is where it starts to get a little bit trickier in life kind of things because um, oh, I also should mention I have my washi cutter from Creativity and Ink, even though I don't know how much I'm going to be needing that. Um, I also don't know if any of this is even, like, the proper sizing for this planner, um, just because, like, this was formatted so long ago that I don't know how many things would still apply. Let me just actually mark down where I want, like, boxes to go, because I don't really know. So this one's middle so bottom so we're gonna have one at like the top here middle bottom top middle middle okay cool cool just to have like a general idea for how i want to do this not really but just generically um so i think we're just gonna go ahead and start off this way and get right on into the sidebar so i have like that page i do want an ombre heart checklist and then this like sidebar -y type thing this is how old the kit is like it comes with the two little flags to go in like the sidebar -y type section and then i have um i have trackers i don't know why i couldn't think of what those things were called and then the date covers which i don't need also like it came with the like tiny flags to go over here like that's crazy to think how old this kit is um So I went ahead and just did the like sidebar -y type section and that was a lot more of a struggle bus than I anticipated just because like all of the colors were all over the place and like if you guys saw me struggle busing it like these two were both gonna be gray and I was like no it's not gonna happen in this planner the spread doesn't have to be like perfect but I would at least like it to be semi decently okay so I think we're gonna do this blue color and then this red color and then this gray color I feel like this is the perfect spread to color block with and I also feel like that's kind of what was intended with this kit is just because like there's such an even amount of everything in this 
kid like it wouldn't make sense to not color block if that makes any sense so that's what we're gonna do for this spread and we're gonna do like that like inverse -y type color blocking also i want to mention like i know i said that this kit was insanely old <laughs> i feel like this is one of those things like okay i really do need to use stickers like within the year <laughs> of purchasing them like maximum two years of purchasing them because oh my gosh is this stuff like not even sticky anymore do i want to no i want to leave at least a little bit of space i guess we'll just line these things up at the bottom so we throw like mostly straight across not really straight across if my stuff isn't that good um where was i going with that yeah like these are so insanely like not sticky like anytime i try and lift up one um one sticker from the sheet it like automatically lifts up the like five that are next to it that's not really like the best thing on the planet but you know it's fine and i feel like it's the most notable like with these headers and also probably the little things um because there's so many just stacked up right next to each other so you know we'll see how that goes for the remainder of this plan for me. i also don't know like how color blocking is gonna go so if i haven't mentioned it already this week is going to be my first week of classes um so that means that i hopefully will go back to doing that thing where i only put full boxes down on the days that i have class so that means that like monday wednesday friday will have a full box no monday wednesday friday won't have full boxes <laughs> and then tuesday thursday saturday sunday will and that's where like the dilemma part begins because i've gotten like multiple emails <laughs> saying that like some classes like they just send mass emails to everybody that's enrolled in the school saying that like if you are enrolling in these classes or you're planning on enrolling in these classes be careful because they are at risk of either being dropped completely or being combined with a different section for the same class um and so if that does happen to one of my classes like my class schedule will for sure change i just don't really know how yeah, until you know the day comes that i have to actually physically go in and change it um so we'll see hopefully that doesn't happen because i actually really like my schedule and one thing that i'm not i mean like actually not looking forward to is having to drive to school like i forgot how much i hated that <laughs> until right now and i'm already dreading traffic i'm already dreading looking for parking i'm already dreading having to pay for a parking pass like i'm already paying to go to school if you really need me to pay to park here too so I don't know it's just a lot of things and I put these down on the wrong sections but yeah that was probably the easiest a sticker has ever come up in this planner and none of the paper ripped up so that's nice that's one good thing about this um planner I guess I'm gonna put the weekend banner like on the actual washi and I think I'm gonna try to like pull the days down as close to this as possible while still leaving a little bit of a gap um just because I I don't know I want to okay so I think I'm gonna put this box I don't really want to use this box I want to use these two boxes but they don't have foil and I feel like I need to put foil in this spread so I think I will just use this box and put it along the top and then on all of the days I'll use a half box I'm debating if like because usually I would mark my classes in these boxes but because um but because I don't know like if my schedule will for sure stay the same because they're, I've gotten like a scary amount middle bottom top so this one would also be at the top mm -hmm. I also moved my tripod so hopefully that wasn't like too much I think we're just gonna take these two balloons wait what are they doing this one's at the bottom i have a little dot at the bottom to remind me um so i think like i'll just take the half boxes um and like i'll write my classes in here and then if i end up not having a class i don't have a gray one to go right here and i actually do need one for that day so i guess we're just gonna take this is more confusing than i thought it was gonna be <laughs> Okay, so we're going to take this one first around this day. And then this one, I think we'll just put it at the bottom. 
I think we'll also just put this one at the bottom, but not like at the bottom bottom, like right here, ish. And then we'll put the double box on top of that. Hopefully that makes sense. I actually have no idea. And then we're just going to put these two right here. I guess the gray was supposed to be the one that goes on this day after I just said that this was perfectly made for color blocking because everything is so even. It's not. Um, so let me go ahead and just finish putting this. But yeah, I forgot what I was talking about. So I figured I would just put the half boxes down so that way like if I do have classes I can put the classes like I'll just list them out in the half box but then if I don't have classes on that day I'll just put like whatever assignments need to be done, what I have, like my goals for studying are, if for whatever reason I watched a movie that day, like just all of that can go in those little sections. Okay and now comes the more fun slash more tricky part so I'm just gonna like pull some boxes out so I have this page this page doesn't really have anything um like box worthy so this just has like some half boxes this has washi which I guess I could use I don't really want to use a lot of washi and then I'm not gonna pull anything out from this page um I don't really want to use a lot of the little things um that's something that, like I would have done if I were to have marked all of my classes down so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this one down here and I'm gonna put this one down here like at the bottom bottom and I do want to find a way to like put stuff down completely actually you know this box should be lifted up a little bit mm -hmm. maybe it's fine maybe it's not actually no that's fine because we could just layer a box like below and on top of that one because like I don't know I can I feel like it okay so we're gonna put that box there and then we're gonna put this box here I might as well just center it uh, no we won't in case I do for whatever reason want to mark something literally right there and we're gonna take these two boxes and I think we're gonna put this one at the very tippy bottom right there and then we're gonna put this one on this day and then we're gonna take the one blue one that I have left because I pulled one blue one in on the sideboard and I think I would rather put this down right here okay and then I have two gray ones left and both of the gray ones look pretty sparse so I think I'm gonna put this one down right here and I'm gonna put this one down just right here generically and then on like these two spots I'm gonna take some of the washi just whatever the thickest pieces are because surprisingly there are some pretty thick pieces of washi down here so we're gonna take this guy put it down over here hopefully you guys can't hear all the dogs and panic attacks outside and i'm gonna take this coffee cup it's not the same color as like everything else for this monday but honestly close enough for me and that way i can just like layer that guy underneath it i want this coffee cup to be on top um yeah like that and then typically i do plan on Sunday so I think we're just gonna take this guy and stick it over there and then I can use this to mark something for school on this Wednesday we're just gonna like start putting things extremely randomly down um for the sake of having this be filled out and that's another thing like this being so old um I guess that's it it's just this one and then this coffee cup that I could put down We'll put like this one on this Friday and then we'll put this one down right here because I also do typically pre-plan on the Wednesdays. Um, and then I think that's it for most of this. It's just like now filling up things with a little tiny spot. So this Tuesday is completely done and then this Wednesday I can put, I guess I could layer these two things together. Um, but yeah, anyways, I don't even know what I was talking about for this plan. I feel like I started off trying to talk about 400 different things, and then my mind goes to like, no, I need to figure out where I'm going to put all of the sticker placements down. So this one's full, and this one has literally nothing. So we shall see how that goes. Um, oh, I could use little things. Dumb, dumb. Okay. So we're just going to put this TV one, not this TV one, this food one right here. Because chances are I'm going to eat something. And then we're just going to take these asterisks, as asterisks ones and line them up right here so they're just gonna be like stacked for this little bit because i figured i could make a list actually 
no we'll have them be in the opposite direction so they can be used to mark like different things if i have any assignments that are due that day and i think that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take like all of the asterisk -y type icon little things and put these guys down generically but yeah so i started off wanting to talk about 400 million different things and then i end up not talking about anything because my mind goes to like i don't even know where it goes <laughs> um because I end up thinking about 400 different things while I'm trying to plan things out. So, you know, that part's kind of fun. We'll just put this food one on this Sunday. And then I do still want, like, at least something to go right there. And it feels kind of weird just leaving that blank. I could just put this movie marquee down. Chances are, uh, I do want to pick at least one day a week where, like, every week for sure I have to watch a movie on that day. Just so I can have some sort of scheduled relaxing me time. Um, because I know I need it. <laughs> It sounds sad, but I feel like if I don't schedule in relaxing time for myself, like it just legitimately will never happen. So, yeah. Oh wait, I didn't even put in my little Doctor Who sticker. So I think I'm gonna do the same thing that I did last week, where I took one of the little sonic screwdrivers. Actually, no, 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 no. So if I haven't mentioned it like 400 billion times on this channel, Matt Smith, the 11th Doctor, is my favorite Doctor of all of Doctor Who. Um, and so because of that, I'm going to put him waving with his little sonic screwdriver on the sidebar to mark happy week one. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay, so let me make sure that I'm in the frame. Probably wasn't in frame. Also, my camera's going to die, so we're just going to see how that goes. Really quickly, let me go ahead and just flip through the rest of these kits. So this, these are literally just... Okay, so that is everything for this spread. I did go ahead and fix this half box because it was insanely bothering me. Um, but anyways, as for usual, let's just pause, take a bit of a breather, take a bit of a chill pill, and deep breath in. Deep breath out. And repeat after me. I am committed to myself. Be committed to yourself and do whatever makes you smile, whatever brings you the most joy, whatever makes you happy. And sunshine all the time does like cause deserts. I feel like that's also like one of the cliche things to say. Um, so if you're feeling sad, feel your feelings and do what you need to do to feel them all. And I don't want to say recover from them, learn from them, grow from them all that kind of stuff and do whatever you need to do to be the most amazing and sparkling and you know, catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.